show you how to try and clear up your um, your hard drive a little bit, try and save an extra little bit of space. So for instance if you go to your finder and click on Macintosh you will notice that it says just there that uh, your hard drive, how much space you've got available. Now I've got quite a lot left because I recently restored my computer and I've been trying to keep it down as much as possible. But if you are running low on hard drive space, this is the best way to do it. Go to your applications. Now, as you can see, you do have all your applications just here. Um, and there is plenty to choose from. The best thing, I've done most of mine, but the best thing to do is right click on them and go get info. Now I'll pull up the little window at the side so what you'll notice is when it says general and it says kind it will say application and then it will either say in brackets either um, universal or so on and so forth. Yours will probably say universal because I've already changed mine. The other thing is that if you scroll down on that little bit it says languages now I've got rid of the other ones and it just is left with English so if you have one that isn't done for instance let's say um, let's say see Final Cut Express has got it yeah here we go so if I just move that out of the way so for instance it says kind application universal now what that basically means is that it is designed the, the software is designed to work with Intel based computers um, all the older ranges of PCs and Macs and whatnot as well so that is actually using up quite a lot of memory on your system so at the moment it's saying 239 and 4 megabytes there now if we scroll down you can see that there's a few different languages here you've got English, French, German and Japanese now if I select those, remove them, continue. Now, there we go. Already it's dropped a hell of a lot. It's gone down 180 odd megabytes. So that saved me just by deleting a few languages. Now, to get that to say Intel, you need a little application. So, what you do is you go to the web. I will have it in the link description. And you will go to this website and it's got a download now this application it's called trim the fat so if it'll load it's taking its time for some stupid reason there we go so it's called trim the fat um, so you just want to hit that and download it I've already got it downloaded it's in my applications here so for instance it's just there now open it up now you may want to change some of the settings and I, I do advise you not to use this on some may, basically if you've bought an application and it costs you a lot of money I, I would probably not do it on this because it is removing files from the actual application so it might affect it but first of all go up to the right hand corner go to preferences now what I do is to save yourself a even more memory I go trim application in repl in place so have that selected it basically means it's going to take your application delete the information that is not needed and just replace it well, you can go create new trimmed application so it basically makes a double of it but one will be the trimmed version and one will be the normal version so I have it on that and then what you do is remember it's on at the moment 112 megabytes so if we open up my applications again and if we find final, final express oops, sorry I'm just getting a Twitter so drag that drop it into trim the fat and it'll just take a second and now it's saying you've saved 30.66 megabytes in Final Cut Express so now there you go it's gone down to 81.3 megabytes now it you know it, it doesn't save much altogether but from what it started at from 290 that saved me 210 megabytes now if you do that on all your applications you will soon realize that you know you will have quite a lot of memory saved up so as I say you just go through all your applications keep right clicking on them go through them all so as he says it's, it's universal there 47.8 megs um, and I as you can see I can delete all those applications now those ja those um, 
those w those other languages will go straight to your trash so as you can see there's the French the German and the Japanese so basically you want to get rid of them um, and if you do want it empty secure you know you can see that, that that's a hell of a lot of files that just those languages were taken up you know so yeah it's worth doing um, I, I've only done like half my stuff but I, I will do the rest one day but yeah just go through them and so that little application is called trim the fat uh, I will have the link dis the link in the description for you um, as may some of you may know um, also go to the website OSX torrents you can sign up get constant live updates from things like Twitter from myself um, if you do need help from us as well you can do our Skype live help as well so as you can see you just right click on us um, and you can call us straight away and you have plenty of downloads nowadays so yeah follow us on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube if you do have any problems uh, you can Skype me if you want to you can send me a Twitter uh, you can subscribe to me or PM me on the YouTube as well. So I hope that helped a lot. And